Hello, everyone. Have you ever wondered what used to be in the place where your home is now, or who lived in your house before you? Maybe centuries ago, it used to be a forest or the home of a wild animal. Thanks to some underground discoveries, we can take a peek into the past, but many things remain a mystery. Today, we will show you the most unusual things that people have buried underground or found under their feet. Rest assured, these discoveries will amaze you. Let's get it on! Supersonic Jet Fighter MIG-21 Artists and musicians express themselves in different ways, which sometimes can be quite odd. Some prefer flashy shows, while others opt for large-scale installations. A couple of years ago, the Gallery Rudolfinum in Prague was celebrating its 100th exhibition. The British artist Roger Horns wanted to do something that would remain in the memory of visitors for a very long time. For that reason, he decided to bury a Soviet-made MIG-21 jet fighter of over 5 tons under a thick layer of soil. Sounds like a strange decision, doesn't it? We can imagine the reaction of the military when they found about the artist's intention to bury a plane underground instead of allowing it to fly. It's against the rules! It's possible that in a few decades, this plane could become a curiosity and be exhibited in museums, but the artist didn't care about all this. He had a different idea. The British artist focuses on wasting human potential, pointing out that people often aspire to things, the meaning and importance of which may be questionable. The artist wants us to think that maybe it's time to start consuming less and make the world a cleaner place. Imagine the people of the faces who in 100 or 200 years' time will find this huge plane underground. Mercedes-Benz G-Class if plane burials don't surprise you, you should visit the village of Nikola Lenevitz in Russia, where you will find a luxury car buried in the ground. As part of the Ark Stoyani festival, local artists paid special attention to the subject of shelters. <laughs> For example, one artist erected a house in the shape of a giant head and moved there. This place features several objects where you could survive the apocalypse or hide from all your troubles for a while. Visitors were impressed by the most expensive exhibit, an armored Mercedes-Benz G-Class SUV worth approximately $80,000. Anyone can sit behind the wheel, but this is easy only at first sight. To enter the vehicle, visitors will have to make an effort, because you can only enter through the roof hatch. The fact is that the sheltered G500 is completely buried underground. Thanks to the tinted windows and a thick layer of earth, you will feel completely safe, unless you suffer from claustrophobia. Ford Popular You've probably had to work with a shovel at least once in your life. Now imagine the following situation. You stick the shovel in the ground and you can tell it's not soil anymore, but something solid and probably made of metal. Your first thought would be a treasure. That's exactly what happened to John Brayshaw from the UK. On a sunny day, he was working in the garden as usual, when he suddenly found a large iron object while digging a hole in the ground. After some digging, he found a rare Ford Popular, produced between 1953 and 1962. Amazingly, the rusty car had been buried underground for half a century. Inside, there was an old radio, a medicine bottle, and some milk bottles. After telling the story of the discovery to the media, Brayshaw managed to find the former owners of the house. The son of a World War II two veteran reacted to the news and revealed that as a child, he played in this Ford with his brother. It turns out that his father bought the car for his wife in 1958, but six years later, it broke down. The family had no money to either repair or dispose of the car, so they decided to bury it in the garden, hoping that the next owners would be surprised when they found this unusual treasure. And they were. <laughs> Unknown Mineral at the beach, you can often see people trying to find treasures with a metal detector. In most cases, they find phones or chains, but nothing important, let alone precious metals. But some are lucky enough to find more than just old cars in their backyards. What's this? A few years ago, two schoolgirls from the Canadian town of Kitchener were digging up worms for an upcoming fishing trip. Suddenly, the girls saw a huge shiny stone in the ground. The mineral, the size of a human head, looked like a diamond or quartz, but with a blue glow. The older sister thought it might be a fragment of a meteorite that had fallen in the St. Thomas area a month earlier. The parents showed the find to a member of the KW Gems and Minerals Club, hoping to find an explanation, but this person had never seen anything like it before. If it was a meteorite, it would have been on the surface, not underground. Another expert, a professor in Western University's Earth Sciences Department, is sure that someone deliberately buried the mineral 
able to hide it. Now scientists hope to find out exactly what the Kitchener sisters found. After all, minerals are usually found in deposits, not in your backyard. Canned gold? According to the World Gold Council, 190,000 tons of gold have been extracted throughout human history, but only a small part of this precious metal has been found by accident. Imagine the disappointment of gold prospectors who spend fortunes searching for it when they discover that some people find gold without even trying. Oh, no. <laughs> like this couple from California that just took their dog for a walk, as they do every day, and noticed something under their feet. Sounds unbelievable, but it's true. They found the greatest buried treasure in the history of the United States. As they left the house, they noticed a rusty metal can sticking out of the ground and dug it up. Inside, they found gold coins, so they decided to continue their search. It turned out that the cans contained gold fever coins worth approximately $10 million. For this reason, the couple decided to remain anonymous. According to the couple's agent, finding gold coins underground is extremely rare. Most of the time, the precious metals lie on the seabed as a result of shipwrecks. In any case, we are happy for the lucky millionaires. Bike from the past. Sometimes people find things in their gardens that are much more curious than gold bars. On the popular television show American Pickers, host Frank Fritz and Mike Wolf conducted their own investigation and unearthed an incredible object right in front of the cameras. And not in the middle of the desert, but in the backyard of a house in Springfield. In fact, it might be one of the most mysterious episodes of the 21 seasons of the show. It all began when the show's hosts found Bill Smith's letter and learned his story. In the 1940s, he lived in Springfield, on Monroe Street, with his parents. His mother used to tell him stories about a motorcycle owned by his father, but Bill himself never saw it. Rumor has it that for some unknown reason, his father had buried the motorcycle in the driveway, but no one in the family knew if this was true. In the end, Bill, aged 73, persuaded the show's Hosts to come to Springfield and investigate the yard of the house's current residence to unravel the mysteries of the past once and for all. Luckily, after a long search, one of the hosts finally stumbled upon the wheel of an old bike made by the company Indian Motorcycle, which had been producing motorcycles since 1901. It's hard to believe, but the rusty vehicle had been underground for at least 50 years. Ah, rear tandem seat. Dinosaur fossils. We all have different interests and hobbies, but most people never expect to achieve anything significant with them. For example, Tim Bryce, a zookeeper from Mansfield, Texas, often goes out to look for fish fossils around his town. One day he visited a site that had been cleared for the construction of a shopping mall and let his son dig in the dirt. First, the boy found several fish vertebrae and then a huge bone. Tim understood immediately that there was something special about the discovery. Mm. Mm. And he was right. First, Tim showed the fossil to the scientists of the Southern Methodist University and then to local journalists. It turned out that his son had found a 100 million year old dinosaur bone. The paleontologists sent the fragment to be studied and continued the search with the zookeeper and his son. Presumably, the remains belonged to a notosaurus. These herbivores lived in the late Jurassic and early Cretaceous periods. However, it is possible that the five year old boy found a new species of dinosaur. Nuclear Bunker Recently, the demand for bunkers in the U.S. has increased significantly. Some people install them right under their house to be used as storage, while others set them up in the yard under a modest shed. People try not to think about bad things, but still, having a shelter is not a bad idea. At the very least, a bunker will serve as a meeting place for your family or as a storage unit. John Sims from the United States doesn't need to worry about his peace of mind because he has a nice, reliable bunker in his backyard built in the 1960s, when relations between the USSR and the United States were pretty tense. When he bought this this new house in 2015, Mr. Sims knew that there was a secret hatch somewhere in the territory, but he could not find it. In the end, he contacted a specialist who used a metal detector to determine the location of the bunker. Beneath a small hill, John found the hatch leading to a fallout shelter in stunning condition. The bunker consists of a spiral staircase descending three meters underground and a vaulted space. There's enough room for the whole family. It's amazing how long the bunker has been inactive, but it could be used to build many things. A club, a game room, and even a small cinema. Roman Villa 
If you have a country house with a large garden area, it is likely that an ancient treasure lies under your feet. You probably think that nobody thinks about this. Many people buy new houses and do not study every inch in search of a thousand-year-old relic. But after moving to a farm in Moultshire, Luke Irwin, an English carpet designer, had to lay extra electrical wires in his yard. But when the workers were digging, they suddenly found something colorful and solid underground. It was an ancient 1,500-year-old mosaic. Blue, white, red. The colors of the mosaic were so beautiful, it seemed to have been created just recently. Anthropologists, archaeologists, and historians visited Luke Irwin's farm. After a while, they all came to the same conclusion. Under a layer of earth, there was a three-story Roman villa. It was at least 100 by 100 meters in size. The house was most likely owned by a British family of aristocrats. Their fortune was growing, and the tenants quickly built new flats and rooms. Eventually, the underground mansion was declared a national treasure, and some of its fragments will be studied further in the years to come. Ancient Roman Tombstone a couple of years ago, construction began on a new building site in one of New York's wealthiest districts. The plan was to build new mansions in Westchester County, but during construction, workers accidentally found a mysterious marble slab with a Latin inscription. Experts who arrived at the site immediately determined that it was an ancient Roman tombstone dating back to around 54 AD. But how could a relic from another culture end up in a district of New York City across the ocean? Did the ancient Romans know of the existence of North America almost 2,000 years ago and arrive there? Actually, there's a much simpler explanation. First of all, we have to tell you about some of the wealthiest people living in Westchester. The most famous businessmen in the world lived there, including the Rockefellers, the Astors, and the Morgans. It may seem that this has nothing to do with the ancient Romans, but the place where the tombstone was found used to be the house of Rockefeller's business partner and the Standard Oil Company at the end of the 19th century. Presumably, the millionaire's wife visited an Italian villa, bought this ancient Roman monument, and took it to Greystone Castle. A hundred years later, the castle burned to the ground and the remains were buried. No one knew that this valuable object was buried until construction work began. Now the slab is stored in the Metropolitan Museum in New York and and will probably never return to Rome.